Howdy YouTube, Darlington Farm here, just out here in the vineyard. Uh, had my uh, air blast hooked up and I wanted to go ahead and get out and get a little bit of uh, fertilizer on the grapes here. Uh, just uh, went back here, sprayed a little bit of fertilizer. I had a little bit of BT left over. Uh, we've had some uh, Japanese beetles back here, which the BT doesn't really do anything for them, but we'd had some uh, also some, uh, I'm not really sure what kind of caterpillars munching away on these things, but uh, just decided I would go ahead and put some uh, put some BT on these and I uh, wanted to get back here and show you. It's pretty exciting. Uh, these are uh, Leon Malos. Uh, these are actually their second year, so we really should have picked the clusters off of them, but uh, we have some ripe grapes. They're pretty tasty. I don't know what the brick uh, content is yet, but uh, they're, you know, they're not suitable for wine at this point, but uh, they are pretty tasty. And over here, uh, we have, um, oh, these are Leon Malos. Uh, I forget what this variety, this row is right here, but uh, they're another wine grape. And then over here, we have Petite Ami, which uh, I may just end up chopping those down. As you can see, very few of them have actually made it up to the wire. Uh, those are that's this is their uh, second year as well, so I think I may just clip those down. The uh, really late freeze this year really kind of stunted those. Uh, they're a low vigor, low vigor grape, and uh, I'll probably just end up chopping those back to the ground this year. But everything else is looking really good. Um, yeah, we've got yeah this row of Leon Malo is uh, doing really well. Uh, these over here. I forget what they are right off the top of my head. Uh, this row is not doing so hot. Uh, I, they are, um, oh, I forget what variety they are, but yeah, they're not doing too hot. Over here in this block, I have Frontenac and Chardonnay, and they are doing really well. Uh, but this row here is um, St. Pippin. Oh, actually, these down here are St. Pippin, and they are not doing uh, all that well. But uh, yeah, it's too dry for them. They didn't really didn't have a chance to get established in on quite a ways. The house and all the water sources are over there. So whenever I bring water, or if I want to water these, I have to truck it back on the tractor. So it's kind of a, a pain. But everything else is going along pretty well here. Um, I actually am having some Concords starting to turn color. Uh, right down there, you can see some, uh, you know, sort of ripening colors to the concords uh you know still they taste like crap but uh you know give it another couple of weeks here and uh and say they should be uh pretty tasty so just uh yeah wait another couple of weeks here and i'll probably start having grapes uh to take or i'll probably have concords to take to the farmer's markets and uh we may uh make some uh, preserves and stuff for us too and say actually get a chance to here but uh yeah that's what i'm up to this morning uh just getting a little bit of Oh, again, a little bit of fertilizer out, and uh, uh, the occasional weed here. I've just uh, been hitting with Roundup to try and knock them down, as you can see. Earlier in the year, my sort of grape update videos, I had a ton of weeds under here. I had meant to put a pre-emergent herbicide down and just not gotten a chance to, but, uh, you know, a couple applications of Roundup here, and we've kind of got the weeds under control, and uh, hopefully uh, actually keep them under control until next year. So anyway... Thank you for watching. Click, comment, subscribe. Come check us out at the Crawfordsville Farmer's Market.